2022 was a disastrous year for Disney, losing over $100 billion in market value as so many of the things they'd been doing finally caught up with them. The garbage content they'd been putting out, the woke agenda that they continue to push in that content, even admitted in leaked Zoom calls by multiple Disney executives. And of course, the very public fight with the state of Florida when Disney decided to fight for the rights of teachers to sexualize kindergartners. Absolutely disgusting, and it pushed a lot of families away from Disney. Well, it looks like they certainly haven't learned their lesson because at the world premiere of The Little Mermaid, which they've admitted multiple times is targeted towards children, who do they decide to bring out there? Of course, a drag queen. Disney invites drag queen Nina West to Little Mermaid world premiere. Because of course, Melissa McCarthy was inspired by drag queens for her performance as Ursula. It's not the first time, the second time, or the last time that Disney will embrace drag queens, even pushing drag queens on children, despite everything we've seen going on, going on in this country over the last several years. This is what Disney decided to do at the premiere for Little Mermaid. As it continues to aggressively push LGBTQ ideology and its entertainment for children, the Walt Disney Company invited drag queen Nina West to the world premiere of its live action Little Mermaid on Monday at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. During the blue carpet festivities, Nina West, whose real name is Andrew Levitt, cavorted with actress Melissa McCarthy, who plays Ursula the Sea Witch, and has stated her performance was inspired by drag queens. Well, like most drag queens, Ursula is fat and ugly, so I guess that makes sense that you would be inspired. We can even, we can go to Instagram and check this out. Here we go. Congratulations. They're bowing to each other. They love each other. Melissa McCarthy and this drag queen. It's everything I've ever wanted, sisters forever. This is a man, by the way. Thank you, Melissa McCarthy, for a moment I won't ever forget. Thank you, Disney, Disney Studios, Disney Animation, Disney Little Mermaid, for having me tonight and allowing me to share in such a magical celebration. Then, of course, she praises, sorry, oh my God, I said she. Of course, he, this drag queen, praises the movie and says it's incredible. That <laughs> slip of my mind there, how dare I? Nina West thanked Disney in an Instagram post. Nina West is quickly becoming a Disney staple following his appearance in the Disney Plus LGBTQ Pride concert in 2021, where West hosted the live stream video that featured other drag queens, plus performances of popular Disney songs reimagined with LGBTQ themes. Drag culture is becoming a central component of Disney's entertainment for children. In 2021, a division of Disney hosted Drag Queen Story Hour event aimed at children of employees with the intention of celebrating the gender fluidity of childhood while providing kids with unabashedly queer role models. This is not made up. This agenda is not something that people are making up that they're drawing out of you know thin air, out of nothing. It's admitted by Disney this is what they want to do. We heard their executives talking about it, where they decide to put this content, their not-so-secret gay agenda, describing why they target it at children because they are so vulnerable at certain ages of their development. It is something that is being done specifically by Disney over and over and over again. And it doesn't matter apparently how bad the backlash was with everything that happened in Florida, with everything that happened last year for Disney. It doesn't matter how many families or audience members or fans that they've driven away, they are still going to double and triple and quadruple down on this agenda. And that's why we're seeing things like this even at the Little Mermaid premiere. I think the vast majority of people... You know what? If you want to go be a drag queen, whatever, whatever you want to do in the privacy of your own home, I don't think that matters to most people. It's when you start targeting it and specifically pushing it at children, especially from this big multi-billion dollar company like Disney and where they've admitted they're doing those things. That's when it's actually a problem for a lot of people out there. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.